Hi, I'm Dr. Megan Duncan. I am an assistant professor here in the Department of Geoscience. Um, and I actually studied the interior of Mars, what's going on inside the planet um, using high pressure and temperature experiments. So simulating conditions inside of Mars to figure out what we see on, how what we see on the surface relates to what we see inside. So in the Red Planet Odyssey activity, you guys will be building a rover. And part of building a rover is deciding where you want to go on Mars. That's the hard part. <laughs> you need to figure out how far away from your base camp you need to go. You know, is you going out for a couple hours or are you going out for a week or two? So you need to figure out, you know, uh, the distance from where you want to go, you know, how many people are going, you know, how much water and food to bring, places to sleep while you're in the rover and other stuff. All of that stuff um, uh, is important when you are designing a rover and deciding where to go on the planet. So, Doing the science actually once you're on Mars and figuring out where to go, where to go out and collect samples that you're going to bring back to base camp. I got to choose where you went on the surface. I would go to the volcanoes because the volcanoes tie directly into the kind of research that I do on Mars. So the, the lava that comes out of the volcanoes is directly related to what's going on inside the planet, which is where I'm doing most of my work. Their composition, you can analyze their composition, and that would tell us a lot about um, the history of the planet, what was happening in the past, and what's happening now, and how that actually ties into uh, where's Mars and maybe going in the future. Hi, I'm Caleb Sellers. Hi, I'm Holly Clark. Hi, I'm Spencer Hanna, and we are the Virginia Campbell County 4-H team leaders. And we are here to introduce you to the Mars Base Camp Red Planet Odyssey activity. Now that we have built the rover, I know you want to get moving. Red Rover Part 2 will show you how to navigate and explore Mars. You have now been tasked to traverse planet Mars with your rover. How are you going to do that? Who's going to help with the different roles it takes to make a successful journey? Where will you start and where will you finish? So let's do a little computational thinking, otherwise known as problem solving. For starters, a geologist can use the landing zone cards from the landing zone surveyor activity to note any difficult or unsafe areas, as well as any areas of special interest to your team. For your Odyssey exploration trip, you'll need some help from your team. Next, a designer can plan the actual pathway or route across Mars from a starting point to a final destination. An engineer will then need to build your chosen pathway across Mars. This can be done with any materials you have on hand. We found heavier items seem to work best for younger ages and even using a hula hoop helps contain the rover from flying off into space. Remember, your rover must traverse the planet without any help. Just place it on the starting point and let it navigate. And finally, a computer scientist can help reflect, debug, and experiment. You should think about the pathway design and the overall process. Did it work? Why or why not? What problems did you encounter? Can they be fixed by changing a part of the pathway? Did your rover reach its destination? Was your pathway too simple? If so, can you make it more complex? Work together to analyze your exploration trip and then be creative to find solutions or for more fun, change the pathway design. We hope this helps you learn about how many resources it takes to explore Mars. From money, to equipment, to people of many different careers, exploration takes a ton of teamwork. During the Mars Base Camp project, you have been asked to think of some careers or jobs you have to do to make your activities successful. Well, let's think a little bit more about that. Some of you may have thought of an engineer, you may have thought of an astronaut, but when we look at this slide, all I have to say is, wow, that is a NASA career?